Hi, I'm Deb from Skein Sisters. I'm going to talk about yarn overs today. Now, this morning, one of our um, packing girls, Sarah, she is a brand new knitter. She's made a beautiful, a couple of beautiful cows actually. She made one for herself and then her husband said he wanted one too, but she wants to move to a shawl. And we suggested the Spindrift shawl by Helen Stewart or Curious Handmade. It's a fantastic very first shawl and the amazing way that uh, Helen actually sets it out is she does it row by row. So it's super, super easy to actually follow. But there were some terms in there that Sarah really thought she had no idea what they were. And yarn over is one of them. And the other two, which is um, knit yarn over knit and knit front and back. I'll do that in a separate video and post that tomorrow. So today we're going to talk about all of the different variations of yarn overs because it can be written as a whole lot of different things. In a, in a lot of patterns, it's just Y-O, which means yarn over. And you're expected to know what that actually means. And the discussion between D Jane and I that we've just had about them is it really depends on which stitches you're doing either side of that yarn over. So we will run through them all. The other terms that they sometimes use is yarn forward and yarn around needle, but that really, as I said, just depends on which stitches you're doing either side. So Jane, come around behind me and we will do some yarn overs. Okay, so I'll just do a couple of knits to get started. So I'm just doing stocking stitch here. I've got knits on either side. And to do, and I'm doing continental, so I will do English and continental to show you both. Actually, I'll do English to start with. So to do a normal yarn over, you bring your yarn to the front and then we knit the next stitch. And see how it just forms that extra stitch in there. We'll get that out of the way. See how it forms an extra stitch? It will actually form a hole too. So it's a really lovely decorative stitch as well as increasing one. So I'll just show you that again. So we knit one, we bring it forward. And as we knit this, the next one, it just forms that yarn over. So that's really easy. Now, if we were going to do a pearl, so I'll do a couple of pearls actually. If we were going to do a yarn over and we've got a pearl and then we're going to do a knit stitch, all we actually do is we don't have to do anything. We can just go straight into that knit stitch and see it forms it there. It's kind of, it's the wrong way around. Oh no, it's the right way around. Sometimes these yarn overs can form backwards. So I'll show that to you again. If we've got a knit and we're going to, a, sorry, if we've got a purl and we're going to a knit, we just go over the top. Now, if we've got a knit stitch, and we're going to a purl stitch. I'll just show you, if you bring it forward like you're going to purl, you're not forming any kind of yarn over. If you leave it back there and you go to a purl, it does form one, but it's facing the wrong way. So see how this one is facing that way? This one is facing the other way. So you'd end up with a twisted stitch. So what you have to do instead is you bring it forward and all the way around. So that's a yarn over needle and it's formed actually this big kind of circle over the top. And then you would purl there. So there, that's it formed there. There's a little bit more yarn actually used there. So sometimes those holes are slightly bigger, which can be tricky. If you're going, so that's every time we've got a knit and then a purl, or a pearl and a pearl, we have to go yarn all the way around the needle, like that. Okay, now I'll show you continental. Continental is actually much easier, which is why we often suggest that people do learn how to do it. So I'll do a knit stitch. To do a yarn over, you just hook your needle underneath and see it's there formed on the needle already. And then a knit stitch. So again, it's underneath and then a knit. To go, if we were to do a purl next, we have to go yarn around the needle and then a purl. So yarn around the needle and then a purl. So, 
get all the way to the end and I'll come back and just show you what it looks like once you've knit over the top of it. I'll stay continental because I'm much faster continental. I'm super, super slow when I'm doing English style knitting. And I take my hand off and I do all those terrible things that you're not meant to do, but that's how I do it. Okay, so we come back here. I'll just show you these ones. So look at that, you've got all those little holes formed. So it's a really lovely decorative pattern. And on that spindrift shawl, that's exactly what's happening all around here. Just the holes are formed by the yarn overs. So let's have a, I hope that explains yarn overs. Sometimes I know that I, I assume things. I assume that you all know what they are, but then, you know, Sarah comes along and says, how on earth do I do it? So hopefully this helps a few of you too.